In order to overcome these problems, the objective is to make a classification model that is suitable for real-time classification while maintaining a relatively high accuracy with minimal pre-processing. This can be possible by utilizing machine learning for classification since the model can deal with the complex raw signal without the need of any complex pre-processing techniques, making the system suitable for real-time classification. The dataset used is BCI Competition 4, which is a commonly known dataset for such applications. The dataset is of 22 electrode readings from 9 subjects. The paradigm at which these data is acquired is shown in Figure 5. First, a fixation of cross appears to the subject, notifying him or her that a motor imagery task is due. Then a cue appears on the screen, telling the subject which motor imagery task he or she has to perform. The classes available are 1 of 4. So, either left hand, right hand, both feet, or tongue. The motor imagery task is then recorded over the span of 3 seconds, during which the sampling frequency is 250 Hz, meaning that at that time we have 750 samples for the motor imagery task for every single trial. For the sake of simplicity, in our application we will use binary classification, meaning that we will only classify one of the two classes. The classes I picked first is the right hand and the second is top. Please note that for this dataset, it has 9 subjects, and since the nature of this signal is that it is subject-oriented, a classification is done over a single subject only. In the dataset, there are both training sets and evaluation sets divided already there. So first, the model is trained on the training set and then evaluated over the evaluation set. And these results shown in front of you is the resulted evaluation accuracy. First, common spatial pattern or CSP is used for feature detection and extraction. Then the results are then passed into an LDA model or linear discriminant analysis model to perform classification. Passing the results of a single subject resulted in an 84.5% accuracy, which is compared to state of art results very good. To improve our results, I introduced a bandpass filter as a form of pre-processing technique in order to filter out non-wanted frequency bands. For motor imagery signals, the frequency bands of interest are usually the MO and beta bands from 7 to 30 Hz. After applying the bandpass filter, the accuracy has risen into 87.27%. Later on, in order to improve the results, and since this application is aimed for real-time analysis, a different technique of classification is introduced, where we have another class named unknown, where non-definitive classifications fall under. The percentage is kept as 25% as a maximum, since the results that we have, or the, or the model that we have, can perform for classifications per second. If we have a maximum percentage of unknowns limited to 25%, meaning that we can rule one trial out of four per second. Doing that increased our percentage into 90.55% with an unknown percentage kept under 21.3. After that, we apply the bandpass filter, the CSP and LDA, we classify unknowns as well. And then as additional method, the LDA here is not considered as a, as a classifier, but rather as a dimensionality reduction technique. Then, a logistic regression model is used in order to classify the results. The balanced accuracy has risen into 92% with unknown filter predictions limited to lower than 70%.
and for you. The biggest advantage of our system is that it can be used for real-time classification. As shown here in the figure on the right, we have the benchmark for both the CSP and LTA algorithms. As for CSP benchmark, it has a runtime of less than 4 milliseconds for 128 sample size. Similarly, for LDA, the benchmark runtime is less than 1 millisecond. Making the whole classification process for 128 sample size lesser than 10 milliseconds for the whole thing, which is very suitable for real-time applications. The final model structure is shown on the figure on the left.